everyone. Um, I uh, learnt on my Nash, uh, which you've seen from previous videos, um, which was which was good. It worked really well for learning. Uh, I had the volume that I needed, and um, originally uh, I was looking to get myself a dedicated wing board uh, last year, and I looked at the Gong Zuma, uh, which was a nice looking board. Um, I did originally order it, and it took ages for it to come back into stock. Um, so I changed my mind a bit later on and went with my Flint. And the Flint is, is, is a fantastic board, I really enjoy using it, um, but it is a little bit low volume for me uh, when the wind drops and uh, I, do, I don't feel particularly confident on it if I'm going out when the wind's a bit marginal, especially if I'm going at high tide. So um, what I wanted to do was uh, try to get a slightly bigger board. Uh, I have got my Nash, but it, it's not ideal for everything I want to do. Um, and what I'd really like to be able to do with um, the foil is to actually do some paddle. Uh, some sup, uh, sup foiling. Um, so what I've done is uh, over the uh, period of uh, Christmas and the lockdown I've uh, gone to town on eBay, uh, managed to get rid of a few bits and bobs and put the money towards uh, a, a new board. Um, this year uh, for 2021 Gong bought out a 7.3 Zuma which has got 160 litres of volume in it um, which I think would be um, ideal for what I want with the light wind um, winging in the summer using a 7 metre um, duotone echo um, and also to be able to uh, sup paddle about as well um, on those calm days I have got a sup board but it's too big for my van so I very rarely use it um, so having something in the van that you can take down there and get out on um, is, is what I'm looking for uh, this year I also want to start travelling uh, when we're allowed to um, start getting down to some of the spots that have small waves and starting to learn how to sup foil um, so what I've done is I've gone for the Gong 7 foot 3 Zuma um, I think it's 160 litres of volume and uh, it turned up this morning so you are going to be the first one seen to unbox it so the first thing you see it's, uh, it's quite a big box um, it looks a bit a lot longer than seven foot three i hope it isn't this long um it uh, it's got a lot of packaging having had the gong from the flint um, the packaging is pretty cool um come with dhl this morning uh, a couple of little bits of damage on the box but in here there's nothing there's nothing for the board to actually uh to hit um, so yeah that's the first thing you do whenever you get a board is you always check over the packaging just to make sure there's no major damage on it um, and I tend to photograph everything as I do it as well um, so as you can see there from the gong uh, it's uh, foil it says it's uh, net weight 8.8 .8 kilos um, which uh, seems about right uh, but with all the packaging it's quite a lot it's quite a heavy thing um, so yeah let's let's get into uh, opening it up and, and seeing what the board looks out I'm looking forward to seeing what the graphics are like because the, the flint's fantastic um, and the zoomer looks quite good actually okay let's get into it so you've got your box cutter and uh, let's start getting into the box what um, what I found with the flint was um, the, the packaging was actually very good. Um, they used this um, this sort of corrugated cardboard packaging, which is great because uh, one of the things I hate about packaging with boards is you get a lot of um, styrofoam. And um, my um, refuse collection, they, they don't like styrofoam, so it's really difficult to get rid of it. You end up having to uh, black bag it, and then that just goes into landfill. So um, I do I do like this. I'm going to get it out. It's going to be interesting with something this long. Want to know where we're going to get into it. Oh, I think there might be something there. Should be able to slide this out now. Here we go.
So, foot straps. And I know from the flint that these are actually quite comfortable. And we have stuff. So as you can see, it comes with this, uh, this hex packaging. And, uh, which is nice and green. Now I can't see any areas that it's been pushed in, so that's all good news. to uh, preparing now. Let's see this has had a bit of pressure on it. But that's where the foot pads are so outer packaging on and as you can see so about 98 percent of this is all is all cardboard so I'll separate that uh, plastic away that, um, into a separate pile and then uh, this cardboard will crush it down quite nicely okay so you can see now we've got board with its paper covering on so here we go here's the, uh, the big reveal
can see already it's starting to look a lot uh, smaller than it is with all the packaging on which is good and there we are one gong seven foot three zuma nice thick deck pads nice uh, kick pad at the back and the um, the finish is uh, is um, it's like um, tinted um, resin so the color is not a paint it's actually the resin itself which is really nice because it's it's very resistant to scratches but I did find with the Z uh, the, the flint that uh, if you do damage it um, you obviously can't tint this um, so you, you end up if you try and paint it um, it just chips off so um, I'm gonna have to figure out a way of, of, of looking after scratches and stuff but they are very durable very very durable um, where I sell they're very shingly lots of mud and sandbank stuff like that so my boards do take quite a lot of um, abuse um, and they're looking quite good so there you go So basically it looks like a, just a very big flint um, so you can see the measurements there seven foot three by 31 and five uh, inches and eight thick and 160 liters it's got the double a box it's got the tail kick um, nice little thing for them this year is that they've uh, they've put the handle uh, on the underside uh, which is sort of as you'd want to carry it with your foil um, which is good and um, whereas the flint used to be in the center of the box and the other thing that they've uh, added to this this year is uh, this little extra fin box um, which is for a small fin which is designed to help you stop you going sideways when you're winging and also to keep you more of a straight line when you're paddling so it's removable by hand so we'll figure out how that one goes there but really liking the colors on it it's a it's a lovely a lovely sort of subtle light blue really nice lines on it um, you can see that it's got a little double concave there and a little central line there but yeah really nice really impressive it and uh, weight wise yeah it's probably probably as I said eight, eight kilos nice thick pads and you've got rear foot strap area is is here and front foot strap area is here so going on my flint um, if I use my foil my 99 um, I'm more than likely going to be standing probably about here and here so again I'm going to be kneeling in the in the flat area when I'm standing I'm going to probably be in the center so I'm not far away from where the foot straps are but overall really liking that So having removed all of the plastic uh, from the package, that's it. That's all the plastic that's there. Basically mainly sticky tape. Um, but uh, yeah, considering all of that was shipped with just that amount of plastic, I'm quite impressed with that. And then this will go back in the uh, recycle bin. This is the FSP construction, so it's uh, it's the lighter version uh, than the wood. Um, it's a little bit stiffer as well. Um, I did go for the lighter version. It's a little bit more money um, because I am looking to use this in as light a wind as possible for the summer. Um, so I just think that uh, every kilo probably can make a difference. So uh, that's why I went for that. Um, as you can see, it's a really nice finish on it. Really nice finish. Okay, so you get uh, three foot straps. Okay, so you actually get two, and those two are those two are joined. Okay, interesting. So no choice in where you can put them, but it's not a problem because they do normally go quite together anyway and one rear foot strap. So we'll have a look at those in a minute. 
User guide. Okay, lots of pictures, which is uh, always good for us because we tend not to read because we're surfers. And obviously, something to log into online. And this is the little fin box that you get. And your foot strap screws. So this is the little foil, a uh, little fin that you get to help you when you paddle. So that's one of those. Guessing that clicks in, and then there's some way of getting that out. Okay, so these are designed to not have to have any tools, so that goes there's a little lip in there, push it in, and then push it down hard. There you go. So, I guess with your foil mast, that's just going to help you. A little bit more sideways resistance to help you stay upwind um, and if you're paddling just to keep you a little bit more um, in line um, having not paddled with a foil on the back uh, can you imagine that's probably actually quite useful and then the idea is is that you can then remove it as you want to so yeah nice little idea um, hopefully it's not a gimmick so yeah everything that's there it's a shame because uh, I wanted a bag for it, but they didn't have any in stock, so uh, that'll have to be another thing in the future. And then you get your obligatory gong sticker. So there's everything that you get with the board. Here's a direct comparison with my um, Nash. So you can see it is wider and it is slightly shorter by about probably 12 centimeters so it's uh, shorter than my Nash which I get on with quite well but it's got um, an additional 20 liters of volume in it it's much wider much thicker than a square tail so it should be more in keeping of what I want to do with it um, my long-suffering Nash has done very well to teach me so far um, but it's not it's not perfect um, but it does work um, but this now is going to be hopefully moving on a bit more so as you can see a lot more thickness in it um, but uh, yeah there you go. okay so this is uh, the board unpacked and everything you get with it so you get your uh, rear foot strap you get your instruction manual front foot straps the little forefin and you get your foot strap mounting kit um, yeah really pleased and a um, whole lot comes in this great big cardboard box and with all that uh, hex packaging um, that means all that's that's all the plastic which is pretty good really um, so that will go into uh, the recycle and the box will go out as well so pretty pleased with, with now um, like I said when uh, I ordered it it was um, it was about five days from when I ordered the board to it being delivered now slight change from when I had got the flint um, difference now being is that we're now uh, in the UK we're now outside of the EU um, so when you order the board if you're in the UK um, the price that you will see is excluding VAT um, so it's obviously going to be slightly cheaper than the, the price that you normally see on it so um, you then pay your money and a couple of days later um, your courier company now this was DHL they send you an email just saying that um, you owe the duty and the UK VAT um, you get a link you just pay it by card and uh, that's it it's done and then the very next day it's ready for delivery um, so it's quite simple it was about 20 pounds more money than um, I originally expected it to be because DHL do charge a fee for that um, but that's just part of it 
Um, so overall, quite impressed with how it's working. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just no bother. Um, like I said, if they've got them in stock, you usually get them within sort of four to five days of um, you ordering it.